Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into the first type of chunking that is fixed size chunking. In the previous video, we already have seen what exactly chunking is and we have seen the overview of chunking in drag as well as we have seen what all types of chunking are present in general. So, in this particular video, we'll be specifically focusing on the very first type of chunking that is fixed size chunking. Now, the name itself tells fixed size. The chunks that will be created will be of fixed size. Now, let's have a look at the official definition of fixed size chunking. So, by the definition, fixed size chunking is a method of splitting the text into chunks of a specified size. That means a fixed size. That will be specified by the user maintaining an overlap to ensure the continuity between the chunks so a fixed size chunking is a method of splitting the entire document into chunks of specific size as well as it also has the functionality to keep the overlap now overlap is nothing but the repetition of certain number of characters or i would say certain number of words just to ensure that there is some continuity between the chunks that are getting created. Now, don't worry about this if you are not getting it now. We'll be looking into one very great example through which everything will be clear. Now, specifically for fixed size chunking, in this particular video, we'll be using Planchin's functionality that is character text splitter. The character text splitter in Planchin achieves this by breaking the text strictly by the character count. So, in this particular class itself, we have the functionality to add the count of the characters that we are going to specify for each and every chunk. Along with this, there are multiple other parameters we are going to look into all that. So I hope you must have got a simple basic idea of what exactly fixed size chunking is. Now, let's have a look at the working of fixed size chunking. Now, as an input, we'll be providing the text, the entire text you want to split into chunks. That you will be providing as an input that will be called as input text. Now, specifically talking about the Langchains class, the character text splitter, it has certain number of parameters. These parameters are chunk size, overlap, separator, if any. Now, chunk size will define the size of every single chunk that we want. Overlap will define the total number of characters that we want to repeat from the previous chunk in the current chunk. And the separator parameter is used whenever in our document we have certain separators, for example, some special patterns or markdowns. Now, once we define these parameters, the process begins. Now, in this process, firstly, it starts with the first chunk of the specified size. That means it will iterate over the text, and whenever it encounters the limit where the chunk size is fulfilled, it will stop there and it will consider that many characters into the first chunk. Next, it will continue and it will move forward by the difference between the chunk size and overlap to create the next chunk. Now, once the first chunk is created, for the creation of the next chunk, the overlap of the number of characters that were defined earlier will also be considered from the previous chunk. Let's say two characters are there for overlap. That means two characters that means the last two characters from the previous chunk will be used as the first two characters in the current chunk. And along with that, based on the chunk size, the next chunk will be created. And this process will go on until all the characters are iterated and all the chunks are created. It will repeat until the entire text is chunked. Now, over here, you can see clearly that the chunk size is playing an important role over here. If you define overlap, then it will also create an important role. Unless you explicitly define any separator, this won't be playing any role. But once you define separator, it will dominate the chunk size and overlap. So we'll look into these cases. So I hope the process is clear. And finally, as an output, you will get a series of text chunks maintaining the specified overlap. So basically, you will be getting chunks of fixed size along with the mentioned overlaps just to ensure the continuity or the semantics between the chunks. 
so i hope the working of the fixed size chunking is very much clear to you all now let's practically implement the fixed size chunking with the help of the character text splitter from langchi and let's see how this works in detail with an example do you want to check out this attractive funny memes then what are you waiting for these are just a glimpse of the memes that i have created on my instagram page you can find the link to my instagram handle in the description box please visit the link and do watch all these interesting funny memes these are not just memes these memes and reels contains technical information here i try to relate memes with the technological concepts so please do appreciate that by watching all those and if you love it please hit the follow button let's implement practically the fixed size chunking i'm here inside google collab and the very first thing that we have to do is to install the library langchi so i am running this command pip install langchi and along with langchi we will also require langchi community module so let's run this particular command you can see that the library has got installed successfully now once we are done with this we will now have to import the needed modules and classes so let's import from langchain dot now we want to create chunks so for that we have module something called as text splitter now from langchain dot text splitter we are going to import the simplest type of text splitter that is character text splitter now this character text splitter is specifically used to create fixed size chunks you don't have to create your custom code for creating fixed size chunk yes of course you can do that but langchain has provided the functionality of doing it automatically just by simply importing this and specifying the parameter details now that we have imported this character text splitter let's execute this cell now let's create our custom splitter object we'll call this character text splitter class and inside this as i already mentioned that it takes a list of parameters the most important one is the chunk size now the chunk size is defined based on the data that you are going to use it depends on the format of the data that you have for now we are just going to consider one single statement as an input that is why i am going to define the chunk size as 10 that means every single chunk that will be created will contain 10 characters from the text that we are going to input into it next important parameter is chunk overlap now the chunk overlap count depends on the chunk size the ideal count of chunk overlap is around 10 to 20 percentage of what you have defined for your chunk size let's take 20 percentage of chunk overlap so 20 percentage of 10 is nothing but 2 So let's keep the chunk overlap as two. That means every single chunk, two characters will be repeated at the start from the previous chunk, just to ensure the continuity between the chunks. As you already know that there is one more parameter called as separator. For now, let's not define it and let's check whether it works or not. Let's check is there any need of defining the separator. So now let's execute this splitter. We have created our custom splitter. now we'll be defining the text for which we have to create chunks now i have taken a very beautiful quote over here success isn't just about what you achieve it's about how you inspire others to dream learn and grow along the way comment down if you agree with this now this is the text for which we are going to create chunks so let's execute this particular cell and now it's time to create the chunks by calling this particular splitter so we'll define a variable called as chunks and we'll call our splitter so our splitter class has some functions we have create document split document split text for now now we are having a simple text string so for that we are going to use split text function in this we are going to simply specify the name of the variable in which we have the string for which we have to create chunks so we'll define this and we'll execute it now our chunks are ready let's have a look at it oh we have got the entire chunk 
in one single element of a list. But I have specified the chunk size as 10 and overlap as 2. According to this split term, whatever result we have got, it's not correct. Now, why it is not correct? Because we haven't specified the separator. And that is the reason behind it to behave abnormally. So let's define the parameter separator. And let's keep the separator as empty string. Because we don't have any special pattern in our sentence based on which we can create chunks. That is why I have kept the separator as empty string. Now let's execute this. Let's execute the chunks. Let's execute the other cells. And let's see what we are getting now in the chunks. Now you can clearly see we are getting proper chunks according to what we have defined in the character text splitter. If you carefully observe at the first chunk, it has 10 characters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, space including 8, 9 and 10. So the first chunk is behaving properly according to what we have defined. Now, if you look at the next chunk, here you can see the last two characters of the previous chunk, that is IS, has got repeated as the first two characters of this particular chunk. So, the overlap functionality is also getting maintained over here. And again, the next chunk is having 10 characters. Now, one thing you can notice is that whenever at the extreme positions, you have spaces in the chunk. For example, if you look at the fourth chunk, what you, the total number of characters in this particular chunk are only eight, but we have defined it to be 10. It was supposed to be 10. Now, why it is eight? Because before the what, before the word what, there was a space in the sentence. If you look, here it is the space. And also after the word you, there is one space. By default, this character text splitter strips down the string that you have so basically instead of instead of including the space at the first and the last it will exclude that and it will keep only the character in the alphabet so that is why here the size is only eight now one more thing you can notice in these chunks is that the words are also getting splitted okay if you look at this particular word about in the previous chunk the first two characters were printed. There is no meaning of this first two characters in the word about, but still it was included as a substring in the previous chunk. So we can say that character text splitter doesn't take care of the completeness of the words. It will stop wherever the character count exceeds. Now let's play with this separator parameter also. Now we don't have any special pattern in this particular string. Let's try to put a special pattern in this particular string, which is two stars. Let's add one more pattern like this over here. So now what I want is, I want to split the entire string into chunks based on this two star patterns. So ideally there will be three chunks. One, this chunk, the another chunk will be this chunk and the third chunk will be this chunk. So for that, we have to define the separator, that is the two star, that is this particular special pattern that we have in our string. Now let's execute this again. And let's try to print our chunks. Now you can clearly see over here that we have got three chunks. That is the first chunk is still this two star pattern. The second chunk is from this two star pattern to the next two star pattern that is still dream world and the remaining as the third chunk. So I hope the functionality of separator parameter is clear to you all. Now, apart from this split text functionality in the splitter object that we have defined from the character text splitter class, we have multiple other functionalities, for example, create documents, we have split documents. All these functionalities are used based on different scenarios. And we are going to look into those scenarios in the next video where I'll be explaining you recursive chunking strategy. 
So for now, I hope this fixed size chunking is clear to you all. Now that we have understood the fixed size chunking implementation, let's see when to use this fixed size chunking strategy. Now the first mandatory reason to use fixed size chunking is that when you need to process large text into smaller and manageable pieces, and that is what is the meaning of chunking. Obviously, when your large document is not manageable, it's the best way to create chunks out of it so that it becomes manageable. The next and the most important reason is when you want to maintain some context between the chunks. If you remember, there is one parameter called as chunk overlap. Now that chunk overlap will maintain the continuity between the chunks. That means it is going to maintain the context between the chunks so that the semantics would not get lost. The third reason is that when we have to deal with character level operations like certain NLP tasks. So there are a lot of natural language processing tasks where we have to deal with all these scenarios at character level. So in all those operations, we'll have to use this chunking strategy. So I hope when to use fixed size chunking is clear to you all. Now let's move on to see why to use the fixed size chunking strategy. The first and the foremost reason is efficiency. Breaking text into smaller chunks can make processing faster. We have seen this particular thing in detail in the previous video, how it makes the processing faster instead of providing the entire large document as an input in the rack pipeline. So this is the first reason that is efficiency. The next reason is continuity. Overlapping the chunks helps maintain, helps to maintain the context between the segment. It will maintain the continuity. The next reason is flexibility. As this fixed size chunking is the easiest to implement and adapt to various, to various text lengths and structure. So this is the most basic type of chunking strategy. Using this strategy, a lot of problems can be dealt. So I hope the entire thing is clear. We have seen the in and out of fixed size chunking. I hope every single explanation along with the implementation is crystal clear to you all. If you guys have any single doubt, then you can straight away put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to solve it. For more such videos, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Please join me on Telegram. Thanks for watching. Have a good day ahead.